Welcome to the Strength for the Day podcast, which is a daily Bible study with Dennis Fountain. We hope this time together will be challenging, sharpening, uplifting, encouraging, and strengthening to your Christian walk. Thank you for joining us, and we pray you are helped through today's study. Hey, welcome to our next episode of Strength for the Day. And uh, I hope that you are doing well, whatever time of day this finds you in. And I am on my, uh, my coffee already. And I tell you what, my wife and I, a few weeks ago, I'm taking a drink of this one. Oh, sorry if you heard that, me swallowing over the, the speaker. But the, um, this coffee that we got a few weeks ago, it is amazing. And I love the, it's just so smooth. It's a great um, Man, just a just a great coffee bean. So anyway, you can ask Hannah later to uh, to give you which coffee we're using right now. It is awesome. So anyway, we are in our study in the book of Judges, and uh, we finished up uh, Judges chapter one a couple of days ago, and now we are into Judges chapter number two. Now remember, the book of Judges. Uh, Joshua, we saw this uh, in our last episode, he has passed off of the scene. The people of Israel under his leadership, they were supposed to drive out the enemies of God from the promised land, but they had failed to do that. And they had failed in a number of ways. They had failed to really drive out the inhabitants. But then I think the hardest thing they had failed in, they had failed in uh, entrusting God into the next generation. And so we found out in our last episode that there were a group of people that after Joshua and the, those that were of that generation passed off the scene, there came a generation that didn't know God. They didn't know the works of God. And uh, Joshua and his, his generation, they failed to pass that on to the next generation. And because of this, man, those people left God and began following the false gods of all of the enemies of God that were in that territory. And we read these verses yesterday, and I want to just highlight them because they help us understand something. Uh, verse number, uh, Judges chapter 2, verse number 12, they forsook the Lord their God of their fathers. Verse number 13, they forsook the Lord and served Baal and the Ashtaroths. And verse number 15, wherever they went out, the hand of the Lord was against them for their calamity. That means the Lord withstood them. Like, you guys are not getting this. Hey, you need to get it through your head. So we find the people, time and time again, forsaking God. God. But what we're going to see today is an incredible truth, and that is this. Even though we have times in our life when we too forsake God, when we say no to God, it is such a good thing to know that God will never forsake us. Listen, God will never give up on you. If you know Jesus Christ as your Savior, God will always, always pursue you. He loves you too much to give up on you. And that's what we see today in our verses. So I want you to take your Bible, if you would, and let's go to uh, Judges chapter number two and verse number 16. All right. Nevertheless, notice verse 16, we'll come back to it. Nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges who delivered the people out of the hands of those who plundered them. Yet they would not listen to their judges, but they played the harlot with other gods and bowed down to them. They quickly, they turned quickly from the way in which their fathers walked in obeying the commandments of the Lord. They did not so. And when the Lord raised up judges for them, the Lord was with the judge and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge, because the Lord was moved to have pity by their groaning or upon their groaning because of those who oppressed them and harassed them. And it came to pass when the judge was dead that they reverted and behaved more corruptly than their fathers by following other gods to serve them and bow down to them. They did not cease from their own doings nor from their stubborn way. Then the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. And he said, because this nation has transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers and has not heeded my voice, I also will no longer drive them out, drive, uh, drive out before them any of the nations which Joshua left when he died, so that through them I may test Israel, whether they will keep the ways of the Lord to walk in them as their fathers kept them or not. Therefore... 
The Lord left those nations without driving them out immediately, nor did he deliver them into the hand of Joshua. I love that verse number 16 when it says, Nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges who delivered them out of the hand of those who plundered them. The people, verse 17, turn away from him. But, verse 18, God would allow those judges to judge the people and deliver them out of the hands of the enemies because the Lord was moved with pity. He had pity and compassion upon the children of Israel. And because of that compassion, because of that love, man, God never gave up on his people. You know what? God didn't give up on his people because of his love and his grace. And God doesn't give up on you. And I want to encourage you today, as you think about the children of Israel, they had quit on God. They had said no time and time and time and time again. But the word says, nevertheless, nevertheless, the Lord, he did not give up on them. Instead, he brought judges into their life to turn their, their to turn them back to the Lord, to draw their attention back to the Lord. And that's why the book of Judges is just a, um, I've titled it this a long time ago, it's a relentless pursuit of a loving God. The book of Judges is about God pursuing his people like, I love you too much to give up on you and you forsook me, but I will not forsake you. I want to encourage you today. Maybe you're going through your week and I mean, here we are. If, if you're listening to these episodes in, in order, then today, this is following middle of the week. This is falling in the middle of the week. And maybe you're going through the week and you feel defeated. And maybe you're like me and there's times when you go, man, God, I feel like I just fail you. I fail you so much. Can I tell you that God never fails you? God never gives up on you. God is going to continually pursue you. And if you know the Lord is your Savior, until you die, God is going to pursue you. Even, when, even the times when you say no and the times when you give up and throw up your hands and say, fine, I'll quit. Listen, God doesn't quit on you. Now, I, I don't know about you, but there are days that I want to quit on me. <laughs> There are days that I'm like, man, Dennis, I can't even take you right now. I'm annoyed at myself. And uh, can I tell you, the Lord never, he never quits on you. He will, he will use whatever it takes to draw your attention back to him because he loves you and he desires what is best for you. God is not a dictator that sits in heaven and determines what decisions you make. God gives you and I free will to choose him at salvation. But then God gives us free will to choose him each and every day. It's the process of sanctification that we saw in the book of 1 Thessalonians a few weeks ago. But we need to understand that you and I, every single one of us, every one of us, God is going to pursue you because he gives you a choice to follow him. But ultimately, it's because he loves you. He wants you to say yes to him. He's not going to make you say yes to him. He wants you to choose to say yes because he has incredible blessings for you and, and uh, ways to use you and I each and every day. God wants to use us for him. And all of that is based upon his love. And I don't know if you feel defeated this week. I don't know if you feel like, you know what, I want to throw in the towel and be done. Can I tell you, God will never quit on you. He is, he is that, uh, that shepherd that leads his sheep. He knows his sheep. Uh, John 10, I have these verses here. I'm the good shepherd, and the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. <laughs> That's what Jesus did. He died on the cross for you, but he did it because he loves you. And he didn't just die on the cross to demonstrate his love. No, each and every day he is going to demonstrate his love by pursuing you. I'm reminded of Hebrews chapter 13 where the writer says, no, uh, from God, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Hey, my friend, I just want to tell you, though you and I can fail to follow God, God will never fail to pursue you. He will never fail to be right there behind you to say, hey, I'm here. Just turn back to me. Now, God may use circumstances to, to direct our attention back to him, God may use situations to call us back to him. I mean, God used, and he said this, we saw it um, yesterday. God used, or in the last episode, again, I don't know what days you listen to these. 
God used the enemies that they had not driven out. God used them to uh, to come over the people and to rule over them so that the people would realize their need of God. Listen, there are circumstances in your life and my life that are a result of bad decisions, and God allows consequences from those circumstances. But you know what God wants that, that consequence to do? He wants me to draw, He wants it to draw me back to Him. Now, not every bad thing that happens to us in life is a consequence of, of God judging us. No, we need to understand. I mean, there's bad situations that happen to everybody, just part of life. And any situation, whether good or bad, should draw me back to God. God will use that to pursue me. So my friend, I want to I want to just encourage you today. You have a faithful God. He loves you. He is not going to quit on you. He is going to pursue you. Today, don't don't run too hard. <laughs> don't make God chase after you. Today, just open your arms. God, here I am. Lord, use me today. Help me to love you. You're faithful to me. Help me to be faithful to you. God, help me not to be like this group of children of Israel that just had this uh, pattern, this relationship of following God, not following God in judgment, and following God, not following God in judgment. And man, God, help me not to get there. And today, Lord, help me to be faithful to you just like you are to me. Hey, God never forsakes you. What an encouragement. I hope that'd be a help to you today. And I look forward to seeing you on our next episode as we continue in Judges chapter 3. Start with our first judge going down through uh, verse number 11 tomorrow. All right. Have a wonderful day knowing that God will not quit on you. We'll see you later.